The mystery shrouding the new wave of corruption at NYS continues to deepen. A group of suppliers under the consortium of genuine NYS suppliers now are to expose the rot within the institution. The group claims top-ranking ministry and NYS officials are in collusion with proxy firms where funds are diverted from genuine suppliers to fund fictitious payments. In a letter dated December 2017, the group of suppliers had petitioned the then Public Service Cabinet Secretary, Cecil Karaoke. The suppliers protesting that procurement managers at NYS deliberately delayed paying them even after a verification team verified their pending bills to be cleared. But their vouchers, dating back to 2013, remained pending to debt. The suppliers further claim the existence of a web of connected proxy firms with senior ministry officials. This click, they allege, generate undercover LPOs for friendly firms and payments made, regardless of whether delivery of supplies were made. Some of the high-ranking officials have already recorded statements with the Directorate of Criminal Investigations in the ongoing probe of a possible 9 billion shillings loss at NYS. So if they were to find... Rattled by the scam in her docket, the Public Service and Youth Affairs Secretary, Professor Margaret Cobia, has frozen payments of all pending bills at NYS until completion of the ongoing probe. I think it's when the, the ministry stopped paying any pending bills until the investigations are out and we retrace our tra- steps. NYS has become a cash cow given its huge budgetary allocations. Its budget, having grown tenfold in the past four years, from 6 billion shillings in 2013 to 16.8 billion shillings. Some are going to sit live at nine.